Aloha. Uh, today I wanted to share kind of like my um, evolution of thought processes up until today from being born in 1982 and being alive today and going through the public education system and having being surrounded by a lot of books. I had a lot of books that were around me. Um, one thing my mom kept around were books, and I gathered a lot of them together um, <clears throat> just to see like what what kind of programs were being downloaded, how deep this stuff goes. Uh, and sure enough, I was surrounded by every deep program you can get. Um, from some of the heaviest, literally the heaviest books around. And I'll go through them real quick just to explain kind of like the uh, the prepositioning of conditioning for agendas that are to be sold 30 years later, uh, having looked back now at how deep this programming goes and what we, what, what are the gap fillers around and how we create this reality and basically how religion is science itself and the globe um, and the people who um, continually project that reality uh, is basically your God. So the creators, the, the, um, the creators of the world that you worship are basically so these guys and everybody around them uh, the fossil fuel so this goes all the way back to the dinosaurs and evolution and the Rockefellers and in in the whole university system and the fossil fuel agenda to uh, the heliocentric model of the globe theory Isaac Newton and the telescopes and your version of space and your planets and your uh, ideas of what your connection is to this planet when they create ideas like gravity and laws of motion and the theory of relativity and how the design is from simplicity to pictures to complexity to uh, conditioning with the television and going into the internet of deeper conditioning with cell phones and uh, people who are going to get on on TV and do rap battles with rappers uh, to make it to make this science and this religion more real for you, so I just wanted to share kind of like um, where my journey started and uh, where it is, where it is now, and I'll kind of like breeze through it with examples of all these books that I gathered around me. So actually, it started with uh, like um, my mom reading like uh, Charlotte's Web and. Um, Stuart Little in these fairy tales. Uh, and this is one book that stuck around because all the other books have been given away. I didn't really go through and read any of this this book. I just remember it being there when I was younger. It's a good example of the stories that are in here that kind of set the foundation for for all the other stories. Not many pictures in here. So I didn't pay pay attention too much to it. But um, anyway, fairy tales. It started off with simple stuff, cartoon version. And then I always wanted to go into um, animal stuff. I was always attracted to understanding what nature was. So we had these books around. You can see that television screen. And this was Time Life Television. She had this set of books around. And this is all about animals, so I spent most of my time going into understanding what this was. Meanwhile, and this was my favorite book, obviously, it's all jacked up. Meanwhile, being conditioned to start to love the television, because that was the next step after these books. Was to learn this, go through these, and, uh, yeah, so that, that, and that. 
And then as I got older, I wanted to learn about nature. And um, I started to learn about um, you know, how things work. But this is a good example of the, the, the program itself. So this is all, na so they got about nature. This is really just building themselves up. It's like nature can be understood with science. And that's all it is. It's just science. You, you're a part of nature, but the only thing that matters is this stuff. The nuts and bolts, literally. So looking at life. What is life? Starts at how life began. Characteristic of the living things. Chemicals copy themselves. Here's the the cloning uh, foundations. Order out of chaos. Cells. So nature starts at the cellular level. And because science starts at the cellular level. They don't want to go into the atoms. They don't want to go into the atoms that make up these cells. And into the, uh, the metaphysical understandings of the atomic nature of creation. The fact that this physicality doesn't even really exist. When you go into the fact that atoms are more light and empty space than anything else. They want to talk about chemicals of life. They want you to get caught up in the shallow layers of your reality. Just the same as roots is promoted in your reality as the history of African Americans. Whatever that is. But... Uh, roots is not the history just like evolution is not our history the monkey evolution is not our history Darwinian eugenics programs is why this is out there and sold in your in your reality it's all a program to create create masters of your universe to tell you that you know just follow this system and then be a part of this natural selection process where the people who are in charge are in charge because they're the smartest and they've convinced you to think that this reality is the way they put it in these books and all these books so it starts off with it starts off with um, animals and plant life and then it goes into the water then it goes into uh, humanity and you fill in the blanks so I w another part was uh, dinosaurs and the another, another deeper program is that these books were like the the creme de la creme books when I was a kid like I couldn't even barely look at these books because my mom paid like $50 for these books so this was like secret information couldn't even touch these. That's why these books are still brand new because I couldn't even really look at them. They were just for show. So literally, this science and this story was put up on a pedestal uh, to only be as a subliminal or subconscious programming of of uh, you know what life is all about. There's a l evolution again. So the dinosaurs, this whole thing. Is to back up monkey evolution to tell you that it's all about monkey evolution and um, fossils prove it. They got to prove their theories. And meanwhile, they're not going to tell you that all oh, these are paintings. These are all drawings. Everything in here is fabricated, just like they fabricate. NASA fabricates everything. The university system fabricates evolution and the dinosaurs to promote the whole fossil fuel program and they want to link all these stories in to make you believe this stuff when China's been known for faking these dinosaur bones. All these dinosaur bones are all secret. You can't see any of this stuff. All of these are drawings and pictures. Everything you see, they just made this up, put a price put a price value on it. Told you it's very important, but it's all a myth. It's all legend. And they end it on linking it into you. Started as a dinosaur book 
It goes straight in. Here's the proof of why dinosaurs are out there. The whole di dinosaur program. This program of dinosaurs exists. Pushed by the Rockefellers and the fossil fuel industry. The La Brea Tar Pits and saber tooth tiger and the woolly mammoth and all these uh, gap fillers are in your face. The La Brea Tar Pits in downtown LA get you subliminally <clears throat> getting this story pumped in your head all the time. The theory of their monkey evolution to tell you who you are. You're just an animal, just like a, a big bang blip out of nowhere. There is no divinity to your existence. This is this is basically science believing, seeing this reality, living this this reality of science and the globe theory as your and evolution as your God. It separates you from your divine, your most high, your spirit, your soul, and you start to worship this to where people you tell people stuff like dinosaurs didn't exist. This whole theory of evolution and the globe theory is all bogus. And then people will fight you. People will fight to defend. Why? Because this book is $50. This book is very expensive. And, you know, teachers and people that they trust, that they really loved in, in public education systems. And, and when they did science projects, people they, they trust are, are uh, believers of this stuff. And yeah, so dinosaurs. Here's another one. Our continent. Starting off with dinosaurs. I have a globe in here and evolution somewhere. So, all this stuff. What is this? National Geographic? Yeah, National Geographic. See, and then the gap filler for National Geographic is when you go to. Your doctor's appointments. These are the these are the ones that fill in the gaps. If you can't get these big these big books, then you get the commercial versions of these stories conditioned into your brain, and uh, they sell you the agendas while you're sitting waiting to get uh, cavities taken care of or get your vaccine, which is just another jacked up reality going on you got they got you covered from every angle so this is this is everywhere until you half truths half stories and psychological conditioning programming extraterrestrial programming transhumanism programming and there's hundreds and hundreds of these national geographic books that are that are around us wherever we go and these stories shape your reality the shape of the continent <laughs> boom straight in your face shaping of the continent so it's a psychological thing <laughs> they got it shape you're thinking shape 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 boom that shape is a sphere and then they ain't even talking about that so Here's your, here's your God, and the scientists tell you what it is. The university system tells you what it is. Why? Because these expensive books tell you, tell you so. Evolution, fossil fuels, stuff you worship. You got to get to work. You need oil and gas in your car. You need um, a unit. You need a degree. You need all that stuff to work, to live, to survive. This is a complete fabrication of your artificial reality. And then you make it real. You do this to yourself by believing this stuff and filling these gaps of these artificial realities, these artificial versions of your theory of life and how you got to where you are by a total misunderstanding. The Big Bang Theory, that whole that your whole universe is in a hot that whole TV show that com commercial that do 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 that intro. It's a program conditioning, teaching you about the woolly mammoth subconsciously and the saber tooth tiger, so they can subconsciously tell you 
dinosaurs, evolution, Neanderthal, Homo erectus, and then Homo sapien. And then you are now programmed. You are part of the system. Here's another one. Wildlife. Mixing in uh, stuff that you can see around you, tangible stuff. Putting the zoos, like all the zoos, this is why they have zoos around so they can um, promote control and make these uh, gap filler gap filler programs accessible to you and sell you more books and ideas to distract you from the reality and on a on a larger scale there's the the NASA program that's out there so they got your 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 past is covered with dinosaurs and um, uh, woolly mammoth saber tooth tiger fossil fuels the globe theory the big bang uh, Homo erectus, Homo uh, Neanderthal, and then um, now they got to get your future, and your future is uh, out in space, and there's the globe again. So if they keep you focused on um, <clears throat> distractions of an artificial past and distractions of an artificial future, and keep you busy with an artificial present space. That is based upon the military industrial complex, the war, the wartime, patriarchal system, out of balance, uh, totally sexist, totally racist, totally um, controlling and dominating. Then your entire world is um, is on lockdown, and uh, the only way out is to let go of everything you've been conditioned with from the deepest layers of these stories down to the psychological ideas of how you understand your reality keep these people in power with these big expensive books telling you that uh, that you're not unified that uh, that places like <laughs> the the Arctic land doesn't exist anymore, throwing you out and installing pretty pictures, just like those pretty dinosaur pictures. Here's a the pretty space pictures, and you get you get your ooh and an eye, and then you you can get these big fifty dollar books and sell these these books to your kids, tell these stories on down the line and the gap fillers are everywhere because the next agenda is climate climate change and the globe the whole global warming the force that shapes your world and the future of life on earth fear programming Is the climate changing? That's what this whole book is about. Global warming. So they can tell you, oh, we need to change. We need to do stuff. You need to give us your power and trust us. Trust this globe theory system. Formation of Earth. Big Bang. Solar system. Sun and the climate. Globe theory. Climate change just goes on and on and on the programming is everywhere go back to paleozoic era mesozoic era just fossils again every book is connected in some kind of way and they, they just it's the way they tell these stories that lead up to your programming and then you feel the gaps you, you bring this stuff into your home, into your reality. Blaming, you know, they got to put, put uh, guilt, guilt you, just like religious guilt. The Catholic system out there, they blame you. The, the, so if uh, the globe theory science and all that is a religion, and then you, you see how the Catholic system 
sells guilt to its people. The global warming program is the guilt that gets conditioned into you. And then you have to trust your masters, your, your uh, people who run this reality to fix it. Because they make other books that tell you, you know, what your human body is all about. And they tell you this basic version of your reality. And they go into uh, the, uh, this is like the Roots version, like I was explaining earlier. Roots is not the, the history of the African people, or the black race. It has nothing to do with slavery first starts in gold gold in the blood but these shallow layers of reality are sold and these other scientists and artists that are getting put out there in your face tell you what your reality is all about they gotta tell you what your earth looks like with these big expensive Smithsonian there's another one where's the price on this one they don't have it this is probably another fifty dollar book based upon <laughs> you're like how are they lying they can't lie look at these big expensive books this is the only thing we really had in the house <laughs> these damn lies they just built everything in here. And it's the way they tell these stories. They tell these stories sideways, crooked, upside down. These fake histories. Fossils, fossils, dinosaurs, timelines, dinosaurs, Jurassic Park, Land Before Time. We're back. Cartoons, animatronic dinosaurs, woolly mammoths, saber tooth tiger. They go through the whole thing. Power Rangers, saber tooth tiger, Tyrannosaurus. There's another layer. It's like ten years later. <laughs> Power Rangers and robots and dinosaurs. There's you double, double dipping in in conditioning. There's another heavy book. Uh. Ocean, telling you all this ocean book. This is all about the oceans. Knowing even on a globe, fake globe, there is only one ocean. So it's even more obvious in the flat earth model to realize that it's only one ocean. But they gotta pluralize it, make it more than one, because they gotta separate it. Because if you start connecting stuff, then you will be too powerful. That globe, everywhere you look, even Discovery Channel, that D on the bottom right with a globe in the middle of it, it's everywhere. They don't want you looking into anything deeper. There's these Atlas of the World, Reader's Digest. These are uh, all your all your conditioning programs. You tell yourself that this stuff is real because it's too painful to see that it's a lie. It's like you believe in dinosaurs. Why? Because I like the land before time. Because I like Littlefoot and Sarah and and Petrie. And all the other ones <laughs> in the land before time. Look at all this. These stories are deep, deep program. And uh, your your surroundings, your cartoons, your Flintstones, your um, everything else, your Jetsons, telling you that everything is everything is true. If you just let go of all the stuff that we've been conditioned to think just for one moment, just to see, like, what? Just what if? 
you know, what if? And really see, like, it's easy for me to kind of, like, let go of all this stuff because I can see how these books are designed. <sighs> Look at this. Straight up heliocentric model. Right up in your face. Program everywhere you look. This is an atlas. Atlases everywhere. This is another atlas. This is a superior edition. The world atlas. Superior. You gotta believe it. This is the older one. I started looking at this stuff. I was like, what is going on? Look. Arctic. Arctic Ocean. Is the Arctic Ocean. Because there is no Arctic land that don't exist. Mercator must have been smoking crack or something when he made this. There it is right there. There it is right there. There it's not. I got to take this stuff away. What's going on here? Just basically asking these questions. You know, everybody's seen this. This stuff. Oh, there goes the heliocentric model again. Everywhere you look. Program. Why would they lie? Because they have to control. They have to protect their their uh, existence. If the people uh, realize how powerful they are, then the natural balance, the natural harmonies, will gradually remove this entire artificial power grid, this whole control grid. So they got to tell you, they know a lot about space and dinosaurs. They know a lot about the past, all these theories about the past, and know a lot about the future because they tell you they landed on the moon with uh, Hollywood production studios. And they fill in the gaps with all these... pictures it's all lies we believe it we believe it because we're not supposed to look into these stories we're not supposed to look into we're not supposed to look into uh, the powerful stuff we're not supposed to look into go further into ancient ancient histories and the golden ages the golden the golden peoples gold running through running through our blood we're not supposed to know any of this stuff this is a perfect example of the shallow layers that get created with uh, why the history channel is remaking roots why the History Channel plays all these slave versions of reality. While Hollywood puts all these slave stories out there. Because they don't want you to look at how powerful the earliest civilizations were. They don't want you to look at the real story of Malcolm X. And look into uh, what what was really going on which is meant to fill our bodies and fill our moments with this giant encyclopedia cookbook oh let's see what we're told to eat we're told to eat every page has got some some uh, well first of all it's designed with <laughs> Oh, it's got a little thing. Sandwich, soup, bread, fish, meat. Fowl, vegetables. But this whole thing, the fact that this exists, is full of meat. So, if you don't eat meat, something wrong with you. Why? Because there's a big old encyclopedia of food that they made. You know, and look at all this food you can make with uh, animal products. You know, why? what's wrong with you? Something wrong with you because you don't eat what is in this book. 
Look at this. The only pictures in color. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. The only pictures in color is that steak. Look at that steak and my sandwiches. That is. What else is it? That's some meat. Mmm. Yeah. Look at this. This is designed. This whole book is designed. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Cancer causing. So, biology. These are those shallow layers of intricacies. Poor. <laughs> what the fuck? It's ridiculous. This is how they make themselves big. These big giant books. Chemistry. Which came from Kemet. They won't tell you that. Because you need to pay for, uh, for school. Confusion in numbers, complexity, so you can pay into this system. All optical illusions, all of it. Sleight of hand, trickster magic. You are locked in, locked into a conditioned state of being. Told what your reality is, told what your past is, told what your present is, told what your moment is, told what your body is. Your existence, your life, your death. It's all illusions. And you have gap fillers. So-called legends in your life. Most unforgettable faces. Who's on the cover? Oh. Shallow layers of reality. Mixing in heartstrings making you believe that these people care about you making you believe that this system that these people believed in is right for you making you believe that this story is real and not a fairy tale mixing it all in one big soup filling your mind and your generations of mine with gap filler realities never letting you never letting you see that you've been divided and conquered they're splitting everything up that it's a spiritual warfare that it's a magic show it's science Jurassic, Jurassic distractions dinosaurs monkey evolution it's a three dimensional chess game Taking people's bodies and minds, holding souls, distracting you from your spirit and your mind and your body and the true harmonics of it all. Showing you that you are <clears throat> a distracted individual stuck in between time and space and life and death. And you can't do anything about it. In fact, you can't even understand it. It's not meant for you to understand. Putting fluoride in your water. Taking your mind, taking your body, turning it into a, a mechanical version of reality. These are the distractions. This is the game that gets played. The duality that's being walked on right now, that's being played. The black and white, the on and off. Masculine <coughs> and feminine. These games are flashed subconsciously in our reality what this stuff looks like it's everywhere in our movies we these are the gap fillers of our reality black and white black and white black and white cartoon network it's all over the place this is how we make the magic real how we bring this into our reality and the new age is the is the, the new distracted version of it to, to make you believe in the NASA stories, the uh, the alien agenda, taking your power away, believing what the next story is going to be, 
this whole global warming, this fake unification, which is just a new world order agenda that is being put out there. So they got to get you on the on the controlling side of protesting and going to Trump rallies and all this stuff and making you believe that 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 is where the true power is. But the true power is in really understanding, becoming aware of this entire game and inhabiting that power yourself. Going beyond the alternative news, beyond what's being put out there as the the empowerment. That's just the stuff that's being put out there in your face. This is all Hollywood. It's all a show. It's all a globe, God, and a science religion. Prescription drug reality. Prescription drug spirituality. It's all about fear. Condition you with fear. Manipulating, putting war in your face all the time. Telling you that this is what it's all about. You fill the gaps with the the prescriptions of science and school, going to work, food, however we fill the gaps. Uh, we're filling it because the patriarchal system out of control is removing us from our true consciousness, our true history, our true harmonics, our awareness, our infinite space, focused on uh, fake fake realities, dinosaurs, these are future dinosaurs, the past dinosaurs, and then NASA is the future dinosaurs, shrinking consciousness, making you small, so they can create an idea, a reality that's, that's big for you, and then you'll buy it, separating our harmonics of the yin and the yang, removing our connections, by uh, allowing us to buy this game and get lost in the nothingness so I'll leave it there and uh, thank you for joining me until next time peace love and harmony